Hey, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue on with our assembling with our 3D modeling program. Now, we said we're going to do constraints. We're going to use some constraints. So when we look at our program, when we click the constraints button, we'll have some different constraints that we can choose from. Depending what you're making and depending what you need to constrain, like how, whether, and depending on the shape too, is it a round shape? Is it going to be like have an angle or is it just going to be completely flat on flat? So that's going to determine what type of constraint you're going to do. There's a, a couple different types of constraints. The two main types of constraints that most of the time that we'll use are called mate and flush. Mate and flush. Those are the two main types of constraints that we are going to do. So that's what this lesson, the purpose of this lesson is to explain the difference between those two constraints and to help you better understand what those mean. So let's take a look at what we would say what mate means. So mate means when we click, so we'll click surfaces. So we got in our program, we have a couple different surfaces. We'll click surfaces. And then what's going to happen is once we click apply, so let's say I click here and I click here, then it's like the palms of my hands are like staring at each other, just like these two kittens here. So that's one way that I want you to remember mate is that if we click here, we click here, then and then they'll actually come together too. They'll actually be touching like this. And they might be kind of off like that or like that, but like that, whatever. But again, keep in mind that when we do constraints or we do an assembling is we need to do three different constraints. So if we only clicked here and we clicked there, so that might go like that. But then we have two other constraints to do because we would have only done one. But I just want you to understand what the mate means. So again, click here, click here, like that. If I were to click the underside, so the underside of this yellow piece, and then the top side of this, this I'm just assuming this is metal, this metal piece, then those two will go boom down like that. And then if we look at this picture here, it says mate the top surface, so the top surface of this, so like they're trying to close up this box. So they're saying, hey, close up this box, click the top surface of this edge, not the corner, but the top surface, and then the underside of the lid. And when you click mate, then those things will, bam, those will come down. So let's take a look at what that looks like in our program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mate this surface to this surface, and let's just see what happens. So we're going to mate this surface to this surface, and let's just see what happens. So I went to constrain, and then here's the different types. Right now we're just looking at this type. We can see two squares, and then Right now I'm on mate, so this is where I choose mate, and then otherwise I can choose flush. Now if we look at the icon, if we look at this box here, it's like, hey, this box is facing this way, and this box is facing that way. So that means that those two surfaces are going to face each other. So I want you to think about, before I click this and this, I want you to think about what would actually happen. Where are these things going to go? How are they going to face? So let's try it out. I click here. I click here. And I click apply, that locks it in. Now notice what happened is that those two surfaces that I clicked, so, so we have, it was originally like this. So we clicked here, we clicked here, and then so now they're like that. So that's what mate does. If you notice, I only constrain this one time. That means that then, because there's three axes, I only constrained one axis. That means that then I should probably be able, then I should be able to move this then in two axes. So I can move this right now in the Y, and I can move this in the X, but the Z is locked in. So let's pretend that I didn't want that. Let's say I didn't want to do that, mate. So I can use my browser, and I should always have these open here, is I'm going to now right-click and delete that and say, hey, I didn't actually want that. So now let's take a look at what flush means. So remember, mate means those two kittens, they're going to be like staring right at each other, stare down. Flush means something different. So flush means the kittens are going to be facing, like they're going to be looking at the same wall. Not each other, they're not going to be looking at each other. They're going to be looking at the same wall. So click surfaces, end up level with each other, and stare at the same wall. So if my hands were like this, and if I clicked flush, flush, my hands would not go together like this. What my hands would do is they go like this, like that. So now this surface here is flush with this surface here. 
both of the, the surfaces of my hands, they're facing the same wall, or right now it'd be the ceiling. So that would mean that my hands would be, these surfaces would be flush. So if we look here, um, one thing, so if, again, if we pretend we didn't mate, we made it the bottom of this thing to the top of here, down. Now what we'd have to do to get this where we'd want it, we'd flush this outside to this outside. So what that would do is it'd bring it like, like in line like that. Now if we look at this picture here, kind of the same idea as this. So let's pretend we mated this lid down. Is now what we would do is we'd flush the edges together. So we'd flush this edge, we'd flush that edge. And what that'd do is, so if the box, if the lid was kind of off like that, we flush bam and bam, now that lid would go like that. It'd be locked in. So let's take a look at what flush looks like on our actual program. So I go to constrain. I'm in this type here. Instead of being on mate, this time I'm going to go to flush. I'm going to flush, just for practice, I'm going to flush this edge to this edge. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring them together in line. So, bam, like that. Now if I go to the top view, notice I can move this up and down, but I can't move it left and right. They're locked in. So in the computer, the constraint that I did, the flush that I did, it said, hey, we're going to flush these things in the x axes. So that means that I can then move it in the z. So if you notice, here's our z. So I'm moving it in the z because I did not constrain it in the z. It does not move in the x. They're locked in in the x. And then I can move it in the y. Let's take a look at the y. Let's see if that's true. So I can move it up and down. But notice they're stuck together in the x. What I'd really like to do right now is I'd like to get this piece, this side, I'd like to get the back and the side set up like this. And I want you to think about what constraints would I do to do that. And so I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this constraint that I did here because that's not correct. So I want to get, I want to get the side like this and connect it to the back like this. So I want you to think about how would I actually do that? Which, what, where, where would I click for mate? Where would I click for flush? So let's try it out. So if you think about it, this surface, I want touching. I want touching this surface. I want this surface facing that surface. Those two surfaces should be facing each other. So then that means I have to do what type of constraint? So if you said mate, that would be correct. It would be the two cats. This is a cat face. That's a cat face. I want those cat face facing each other. Meow. So now I'm going to mate those things together. Click here. Click here. Bam. Apply. That's only one constraint. I have to do two more. So it's constrained in what would be the X. I have to do the Y and I have to do the Z. So now I want you to think about what constraints would I do now. So I really, really want you to try and solve that. So I did one mate. And now would I do more mates? Would I do flush? What would I do? Figure that out. So now, think, we got to think this through. If we look at the top here, we want this top in line with this top. We want, we would say we want this top flush with this top. So then, okay, we're, we're going to do flush. And if we think about it, this edge here and this edge, they're not looking at each other and staring at each other. They're both looking up at the ceiling. It's like the two kittens looking up at the ceiling. So we're going to flush those two. We'll go flush. Bam and bam, they're in line, those are good to go. And then I have one more constraint to do, and that's this here. If you look, this moves. See how this is popping off? So I have one more constraint to do. I'm just going to flush the back, back to back, and it's completely locked in. We did a flush because those two surfaces, they're not looking at each other they're looking at the same direction. Right now they're like looking that way. Or for me, what would be my perspective that way. So, so when you are assembling your object, you're mainly going to be using mate and flush. When you're constraining each piece, you're going to usually do three constraints. It'll either be a combination like mate, flush, flush, or mate, mate, flush. You know, so you're going to do one of these usually twice and the other one once. That's usually how it ends up working out. But your job is to try it out to get through 
understand it, think about which way the kittens should be facing.